So what's hacking health? Uh, basically, um, it, it's a way uh, to pair, let me rephrase that. Uh, there's lots of problems in healthcare, um, and the best people who know about how solving them is doctors, nurses, and healthcare people in general, right? But these people don't have the technical knowledge that you guys have. Uh, and on the other hand, let's say you want to help uh, in the healthcare, there's no way you can just walk to an hospital and say, I want to help, right? They'll just say, go away, we're too busy, right? Uh, and, and just the, the kind of world uh, of doctors and hackers is so different. There's no way these people can talk to each other. Um, so this is a little bit what hacking help does. It creates the best environment for these two groups of people to interact and collaborate. Uh, so I'm gonna talk a bit more about it uh, going forward. So what do we do exactly? Uh, we do all kind of different kind of events. The most popular one is a hackathon. I'm sure all of you know what it is. Uh, uh, the, 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 it's really a normal hackathon. The big difference is that uh, doctors are there, and doctors have no idea what's a hackathon. So we need to walk them by the hand, show, explain them what's a designer, what's a developer, you know, uh, all the buzzword, what's front end, what's back end. Uh, and, and at first, they're very reticent, like they're very scared about the the word hacker, like <laughs> they don't want their credit card to be stolen or you know stuff like that. Um, but then when they really understand what it's all about, that they can shoot an idea and get a, a, a great team around themselves, then uh, that, I think that's my favorite part of the event. They transform themselves into babies and they're super excited and they work all days. Um, uh, so that's just one thing uh, of hack or in the, in the event. So how did it, uh, how did it start? Uh, Hacking Us started two years ago. Um, it was me and one of my friends, actually my co-founder. Um, okay, the time is there, perfect. Uh, so it was me and my, my co-founder. Uh, you know, we, we had the reasoning that I just explained before that it was hard for me as a programmer to, uh, to walk into an hospital. Uh, so he decided to invite a couple friends. I invited a couple friends, so we thought it would make like a small party of maybe 30 people, uh, but then uh, over then 300 people registered for our small event. So then we're like, okay, it, it won't work in the small house that we, you know, we had. So we had to rent a bigger venue, have food, and you know, this is how it started. Um, um, so uh, this was at the first event in Montreal. Uh, it was at Thompson House on the, the Miguel campus. Uh, this, the, this is the medical co-founder of Hacking Help. Uh, this is a lawyer, Andrew. Um, uh, so very quickly, uh, it started in Montreal, but it went to Toronto, it went to Vancouver, uh, and now it's moving a little bit everywhere in the world. That's ext uh, extremely exciting. So this is Luc Serrois, he's the lead uh, of Hacking Health. He's the one managing the day-to-day -day operation. Uh, that, that was in Toronto. Um, so this is a little bit the cities that are coming this, uh, this year. Uh, it's very exciting. We have Paris, Hong Kong, New York, Berlin, Boston, Halifax. Well, Halifax is not as cool as Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I know it's a technical audience, so I, I just wanted to introduce Hacking Health, but I'd like to talk a little bit about the challenges that we face in you know day-to-day -day operations. And it's really about scaling, and not scaling in the, the way you guys are used to, to have like millions of users per second accessing the database. It's more about uh, we're a small team. We have hundreds of volunteers uh, and organizers in various cities that we, we need to manage. Uh, and every city has a different website. So how with a small team can you manage 50 different websites that are all different, but they need to be similar. They need to have the same branding, but you want to give them the flexibility uh, to, um, you know, to experiment, to try new things. So this is the kind of challenge that we have, right? Uh, so to the rescue, we have uh, Django and Angular. Uh, and that's just a, you know, a joke because I don't know for you, but I'm really tired of having that when I, I Google Django or something. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio cannot always help with the, my Django problems. Um, 
So this is a little bit what look. Uh, this is what looks the uh, the Montreal hacking help page. It's just the top. Uh, uh, it's just the top. But I want to show you. Uh, you know, everything needs to be changed depending on the city. Some want a picture. Some want different text. Uh, they need to show the mentors, the organizers. They need to put the the sponsors, the prizes. Uh, sometimes some city want to to use Eventbrite. Some city want to use their own platform. It needs to be very very flexible. Um, so what we created internally with uh, Django uh, is a way to separate the page, uh, the, the whole page in sections. So what you saw was the slider, uh, but we have maybe 20 sections. And each section is, is some kind of plugin. Um, so for instance, the mailing list is a plugin. And we can hide or show it. Uh, and it's very cool because it lets new organizers uh, uh, experiment. So they can click the, 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 the slider. And what they get is a, is a live editor uh, with a, the preview of their page. So uh, I mean, it's, in Montreal, it's less of a problem, because I'm here and I can just go to a coffee with them and hack the page. But people in, in Paris are very, very excited about that, you know, because they can tweak their sections, they can create new plugin, they can transfer the page. Uh, and you know, I, I, as you probably guess, I can't speak French. So translating a page is not a problem for me. But now we are, we're going to Hong Kong. So I'm really happy that they can translate it themselves, right? So something great also is that there are two different kind of interface. There's one for very advanced people, uh, so advanced programmer and designers, uh, and one for non-technical uh, organizers. So for instance, if they want to add mentors, they want to add um, you know, they're on the page, you want to add their organizers, the, the mentors, the prizes, the sponsors. They can do it. They don't need a technical person on the team. But for designers, then they can go back to the editor and just tweak the page as much as they want. If you're a developer, you can you know, integrate with Wufu, with other you know, third-party services. Uh, so our goal with that is really to give control to organizers in new cities. Uh, that it's easy for non-technical people and that it's very powerful for developers and, uh, and designers.